that I am speaking English to you today because my oppressor made me. And interestingly, English is not my official language. Uh, English is not my official language. I speak Fante, Mika Fante, but because I was colonized, I'm now speaking English. So if Ghana was also colonized by France, like by now, I'll be speaking French to you. So over time, you know, these guys were fighting among themselves and realized that the wars among them did them no good. So they were like, oh, brothers, let us come together and peacefully we can share this cake among us. So around the 19th century, the Europeans met in Germany, Berlin. They brought forward Africa like a piece of cake and they shared it among themselves. So the boundaries we know today are all artificial. And one thing we should also realize is when the Europeans were making the demarcations, when they were sharing Africa among themselves, they didn't put into consideration the ethnicity, the tribes, and our culture. They just went ahead and carved Africa. So that also brought us a lot of issues. We now had boundaries in Africa. Before they are coming, there was nothing like it. So we had the era of Europeans also now stealing natural resources from Africa to develop Europe. So Africa's human resources were stolen to develop the Caribbean, the West Indies, North and South America. Again, during the colonial days, our natural resources were also stolen to develop Europe. Yeah, I want you to come closer so we can hear you. Uh, what's your question? I have a question. Um, when it comes to the cannon, the, the balls, those are the actual. Those are the actual ones. Ones, yes. and this is not. This is this is the actual. This is the actual band okay. also. So with that being said, taking those balls, how would they go about this? They bring them over. Okay. So okay, okay. Let me start. So I learned yeah. about three soldiers manned a gun. Three. Okay. So the gun had a metal wheel and the yes. end. So now they will push the whole thing back. Push then back. back. Then they will pound gunpowder gun through the mouth. So after pounding the gunpowder through the mouth, then one of the balls, the metal ball, was now fixed at the mouth oh, of the gun. Okay, then they will push yeah. it. Then perhaps if the ship is attacking from that angle, yes. then they will aim at that angle. So after aiming, the this light. hole over here was lit up with fire. Mm -hmm. So within some few seconds, then the ball would just go. We learned that the ball could go as far as about a kilometer or more. The ships were wooden ships. So if the ball comes into contact with the ship, it either blasts a part of the ship or creates a hole in it water will come in, gradually the ship will sink. So that is how the gun was used. So these are the actual guns the British brought to defend their investment from anyone who tried to take it. Perfect, you know, we can also take a nice group picture. Family, uh, this is the journey of a lifetime, family. Ghana made 2022 20, journey to Ghana. And it's been incredible and we're back, family for a 16th straight year. So what we're going to do, family, we're going to get a nice uh, group uh, picture. Uh, yeah, uh, help us organize a group photo. And uh, my brother, I want you to